Welcome to 37 Manor Ave here in Claymont. And you'll see very, very quickly in this video the exact location. So you're right across the street from Archmere. You have a straight shot on, you know, all the major highways. You're going to see them right away. And as we bring you back, you see the river right there. So really some breathtaking shots here really give you a sense of where you are and how quickly you can get to Pennsylvania <laughs> if you're looking for that or downtown Wilmington and really just wherever you need to go. So taking the drone footage, we're really trying to give you, you know, just an overall sense of the entire area in a quicker video and in these intro videos. So that's what we're hopefully accomplishing. Uh, and just so you know, it is a twin. So this is the right side of that, that you see right there with that backyard that is up for sale. That is 37 Manor Ave. And here's the inside. Perfect timing. <laughs> you can see the different floors. We just do the quick version here. At the end of this, we have a really, really long version. So after the boots on the ground tour, you'll see that. But we did just want to jump in and just show you that inside because in my personal opinion, it's breathtaking. It is amazing what these owners did. Now we're just going to bring you back, show you the back of the house. You're going to see the field right across the street and a little bit more of the proximity. And in general, this is, I want to say a four bedroom, but it could be even larger. So depending on what you want to do with your family or this house in, you know, specifically, the third level here is massive. It could be an office, it could be an in-law suite, and there it is. <laughs> Again, lucky timing. It's like so much space. I was even thinking through what I would do with it. I believe there is heating there and a heat vent, so you're, you're good to go out of the gate. But in general, it has a lot of potential and a lot of work and care and effort and just overall design has been poured into this from the current owners. So now we have it showcased and ready for the next owner to take over and really turn it into their dream home. So that's, you know, my hopes and dreams of this house, but that's it. We're going to get you into the boots on the ground tour, show you everything from the outside, the inside. Uh, I think we even went down in the basement. If not, we have some shots of that. Remember, we want everyone to see absolutely every element of a house in these videos and in these tours before they step foot in them. And that's, you know, that's our goal here. So without further ado, we're going to just bring you back from the front of the house for a quick little showing one more time. And then we're going to get you right into the boots on the ground tour. Here we go. All right. 37 Manor Ave here in Claymont, Delaware. And let's, uh, let's go around. So this one is being sold essentially how it is. There's been a lot of things done to it, uh, but you, you'll see as we go through. So it really is one home and another home. So this is 37 Manor, not to confuse anyone. Massive porch. Again, we'll figure out what we're doing with railings here. That is a nice little, essentially wraparound porch that goes all the way here. Private backyard, all fenced in with a patio that goes into a screened in porch. And check this out. Absolutely beautiful. The shed back there, really a big backyard. AC's right here. I think the sun might blow us out here, but let me pull you back. Get a view of the back of the home here. It is beautiful. I think the neighbors might even have chickens. Gotta double check. Here's the back screened in porch that leads to the basement too. So it is essentially a full basement through that door there. And screened in porch with a ceiling fan. And that'll sneak right into the kitchen. Just, you know, a lot of charm here. And here you are. So big patio, as I mentioned. Hopefully this helps you tour it before you tour it. Gives you a sense of the layout. And uh, with crazy gas prices these days, hopefully uh, saves you a trip if it's not for you. But if it is for you, now you have this video. So plenty of seating here, fairly minimalistic. And if that wasn't nice enough, wait until you go inside. Because I have to say these owners have some eloquent taste. So there you are. So hardwood floors, I do believe they're original. We'll check the disclosure. Wood burning there. And look at this. So some newer windows. We'll go throughout the entire place. I'll try to keep this fairly short, but that never really seems to work out well. There you go. So the brick behind it. Excellent space there for working. I'm gonna tuck you in this corner and pull you back just so you can see this. 
really a lot of space. Laid out nice open and flows right through into the dining room. Then the kitchen, which we already took a sneak peek. Here is your half bath and laundry is conveniently located right there. So you could even have a bigger dining room table here. I'll go throughout and give you some ideas. Uh, only here to help. That's the whole point of this. And hopefully point out some things that some folks may not have thought about or you know, makes it something where you're like, hey, this house can work for us. So here's the kitchen, plenty of seating. As you see, there are one, two, three, four bar stools. Could probably fit another, but a lot of charm in this kitchen. Exposed beam up there, big windows here for natural light coming in. And right here too, plenty of space. So I'll take you in, show you all stainless steel appliances. There you are, spin you around. There you go, exposed brick right there, stunning. So that is the first level. We covered everything, we're gonna head up. There's a second level and there's a third level, which is really a bonus feature here because that room can be almost anything. It is massive. So up we go, <laughs> you got it right here. So one, two, basically a sitting room, dressing room, three. So three bedrooms here, full bath. We'll spin you around, show you everything. We'll take you in this one. So a long little mini hallway, plenty of space there. A really good size room being used currently as an office, as you can see, but that is bedroom one. Bedroom two is here, but guess what? We're gonna go this way, because I think this shows a little better. Sitting room, baby's room, office, whatever you want, but that is a big room and goes right into the primary. Spin you all the way around, take you into the sitting room and then there's a bonus room too that may or may not be finished if you want to down the road. And that is right here. Pardon it, they're just using it for storage, but you do have windows and a good size. We'll try to get that in the Matterport model too. You know, hopefully give you a sense of how big everything is. And look for that because that can be very helpful measuring square footage these days. Here is the bathroom. So nice, neat. That is a big tub. Tile work, toilet, and it sinks around the corner. So you can see that. Cool light too. Don't wanna leave any stone unturned. Bring you back, here is the third bedroom on this level. Very nicely done as well. I'm gonna bring you in. And again, the whole premise of this is just to show you everything. We don't really want any surprises, especially these days and age. This day and age, we wanna put everything out there. Now this is cool, so. Check this out. High ceilings, plenty of tuck away storage, and partition it, in-law suite, band room, I mean, hangout spot, man, woman cave, you name it, it's here. And this is heated, I believe. There's a vent, we'll double check. Closets galore, more of the storage they lift up. And look at this, 